Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about multi-purpose WordPress theme named as Infinite, right? So with the help of this theme, you will be able to create some multi-purpose website and the best part about this theme is it has over uh, 8500 sales till now, which is a great deal and as you can see, uh, 140,000 people uh, are like customer for here. Okay, let me show you the live preview of this website, then you will get a rough idea what I'm talking about it, okay? and the author page has been loaded successfully these are some main demo which you can install it on your wordpress website you can always select one of these and install on your website currently okay so let's start the video how you can uh, install this whole theme on your wordpress website perfectly okay first of all you need to buy this theme you can either uh, buy it from the official website which is the best purpose and if you want to just try and test it out you can always try any of the gpl website out there there must be no problem in that as well okay once you have the theme on your uh, desktop or system uh, downloaded successfully then we have the next step to install this theme on our wordpress website which is uh, super simple you just have to come to a wordpress website as you can see this is a very fresh website installed on my uh, demo domain so today we are going to install that particular theme on our uh, this domain okay so first of all you need to log into a dashboard so to do that you have to uh, type wp admin just after a url and it will be redirected to your dashboard so if you don't know uh, your so if you are logging in for the first time it will ask you for the uh, login details which you have put while you were installing wordpress on your cpanel okay so after putting the login details successfully it will be redirected to this page which you are seeing right now in front of you this is called the dashboard or the back end of the website okay super simple so with the help of this uh, section we will be able to edit each and every section of our website like uh, hover over to the settings section on the left hand side you will see general settings uh, writing settings reading settings and the permalink settings so basically permalinks are basic structures of your url right if you want to add the date after the url you can set it up uh, with pretty easy steps okay so the next tool is like with the under the tool section you will be able to see import tools export tools you can literally check the site health okay under the user section you will be able to create multiple user and with the help of multiple user you can assign them different role uh, for example somebody wants to be the author somebody wants to be the admin they can be multiple admin multiple author totally depend upon you okay so uh, hovering over to plugin section with the help of plugin you will be able to add some extra functionality functionality to your website right so there are multiple plugins like free plugin paid plugins you can always get it from anywhere okay so hovering over to the uh, appearance section theme uh, under the appearance section you will find themes which are basically the layout uh, of a particular website right and theme customize the theme widget menus and change the background and everything and all that so today we are going to deal with the appearance section and basically under the appearance section we will go in the theme section okay so here we will try to upload our theme here as you can see i have already uploaded it but i will tell you how you can upload it on your domain which is super simple you just have to click on add new and as you can see here are n numbers of free themes uh, which has been provided by wordpress by default so basically uh, there must be difference between free and paid theme that's why paid theme are charged so much high so there are a lot of uh, difference let me explain you uh, some some of them okay so basically free theme are not that much flexible when it comes to designing you cannot design anything or anywhere throughout the website as per your need if you want to design a footer there must be some kind of limitation in designing or if you want to design anything anything over the website you can't cannot design there and the responsiveness over the free on the free theme are pretty low according to my experience and when it comes to adsense money prospect if you are uh, building a blog and you want to generate some kind of revenue throughout the blog with the help of adsense the conversion rate in the free theme are pretty low so i generally prefer if you have a little bit of budget to invest at the very initial stage of your what should i say business right then always invest that money into a buying a very good theme because that will give you a return on investment in a very quick time hope you get my point so once you have the uh, theme on your system you just need to upload it click on upload select the file and here it is the file i will just click on it and install super easy but i have already uploaded it so i just need to activate it all the steps are literally the same just click here to activate everything will be activated successfully no issues in that so once the theme has been activated the next thing you will see is some kind of notification like this 
so basically these kinds of uh, what should i say these are some kind of notification which has been given to us by our theme basically they are asking us to install some kind of recommended plugins so basically what are recommended plugin recommended plugins are those plugins which has been necessary or it has to be installed on your wordpress website because a, a theme consists of multiple functionality and each and every functionality depend uh, totally depends upon some kind of plugin and if that particular plugin is missing out from your theme then that particular functionality won't work properly so for example if you are having a slider in your uh, what should i say in your website okay and that particular slider is totally working upon some kind of plugin right uh, let it be like slider revolution that is one of the famous plugin out there okay and if that slider revolution plugin is missing out in your from your theme file then that slider won't work properly okay hope you get my point so whenever a theme suggest you or gives you notification to install some kind of certain plugin never ignore those messages always install all kind of plugins okay so we will click on being activate plugin because i have already installed it okay i just need to click bulk action and activate them uh, first of all you need to install them then you need to activate this but uh, to save your time i will tell you a uh, give you quick hack that never activate plugins from this section always come to plugin and install plugin always try to activate from this section because uh, this don't take that much amount of time as you select bulk action and click on activate and everything will be activated successfully just wait for a couple of seconds and uh, let's wait for it so as you can see every plugin has been activated successfully now let's see how our website looks right now if i visit the website and it's pretty simple nothing much of a fancy deal right so our next step is to install the demo content so where is the demo content on the good layers if you uh, see on the left hand side on the top most menu section good layer get uh, getting start import so here you will see multiple import demo okay if you come here and hover to the menu you will see literally there are a lot of import if you click on a picture and view the demo you will be able to see what kind of uh, demo you are uh, installing on your wordpress website this is the demo which we we are going to install for this video purpose okay we have to click on start importing uh, click on yes and this will take like couple of minutes you just need to grab a coffee and sit back sit back and it will be finished within couple of minutes so as you can see demo content has been installed perfectly on our website let's see how our website looks right now if i hover over to the main website and let me show you everything has been imported successfully as you can see there is a, a sticky header also and a side header also if you scroll down you will see each and every section has been imported perfectly right and the best part about this is it must be also mobile responsive if you check it out right this is a really amazing theme and if you want to buy you can always buy it from the official website if i'm not wrong and if you go to the other pages like uh, if i'm not wrong element these are like redirecting us to the different section so there is no problem you can always create your own pages no issues in that okay i want to just wrap this video up by saying if you really like this video just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one